and today we're coming at you from our studio in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. That's right. I'm very excited to be here. We're going to talk to you about Reason's new BVX vocoder extension. It's really fun. Hope you'll join us. Oh, yeah. All right. So if we dive right in, um, yeah, we wanted to, to try this vocoder out. Obviously, we, we, um, we, we jammed with it for a bunch. Um, it's really easy to set up. Essentially, you need um, you need an audio track set up with the Reason Rack plugin as um, as an effect, you know, um, and then you need a MIDI channel that's open, right? Like an active MIDI channel that is um, being routed, like it's MIDI two, its MIDI output is being routed to that audio track's effects. So I've got three of them set up here, vocoder one, vocoder two, vocoder three, and three MIDI tracks, uh, respectively. What we decided to do for this uh, video is we took one of our tracks from our debut album, Regresa, uh, called Taque Tiembla, and uh, we isolated the vocal and sort of looped it on its own and, and made a, a new vocoderized version of it. So. Yeah, Luis was super excited because a lot of his experiences with full coders were, were always a little bit um a little bit difficult, right? Yeah, vocoders are notoriously difficult, uh, especially in the DAW um, sort of environment to set up and uh, to just run smoothly. Um, yeah, but uh, Reason pretty much solved this. Uh, the the new version um, it allows you to set up a vocoder in maybe 10 seconds max you know so it's really easy um it's straightforward we started by sort of taking my vocal take from Takati and Blind we isolated and Luis made a loop of it and he's gonna play a little bit of it without any effects um because that's sort of how we started here we go so that's the loop. <clears throat> and then we were kind of messing around with sort of different chords just to see kind of like what would stick. Yeah. And um, so we were kind of playing around with that. Um. So we liked those chords, and then we thought, like, well, maybe we could just, like, add it to the vocal take from Taque Tiembla. Let's check it out with the, uh, the vocoder turned on. Um, I'm going to slowly fade in the vocoder and uh, show you guys a little bit of the, uh, the parameters that we've got going on. So here to the right, we have the output mix, the mod or modulator would be the vocal, the raw vocal, the carrier is the synthesizer, the synthesized um, you know, sound, which should be turn it up. Oh. It's got a bunch of really cool um, little, uh, you know, modifications you can make as far and, you know, also huge, uh, totally different uh, sounds that you can get from this. Um, 
One thing I really like is the uh, emulation of vintage and modern um, vocoders all built into this one synth. Um, I'll show you guys both options. Here we go. So, that's the vintage. Let's go ahead and switch to the modern. Format, which makes it a little brighter or darker, you know. But overall, the difference between the modern and vintage is, is pretty big. It's, it's got a bunch of other really cool controls, including the unison, which is a bit like a, a bit like a chorus. Um, uh, a bunch of like um, effects that you can combine um, with the unison, like a distortion, a buffering, ring modulation, a bit crush, and a reverb. Um, you've also got the ability to uh, switch between this internal synth or an external uh, reason synth that you uh, you just connect via external carrier in right on the on the on the back of the rack. But for now, we're just gonna we're gonna stick with that. And then I really liked something that Luis did was that when we started um, sort of arranging it and adding drums, Luis was like. Um, I just want to keep adding, I just want to see what the vocoder will do like on other instruments and stuff and so um, started to feed it through, right? Yeah, totally. I'll show you guys now. So um, I'm going to play this scene right here which has the chords as well as some percussion that I've uh, affected as well with the vocoder. I was going through the presets which is um, one of the cool things about you know this, uh, this new plugin or this new um, extension is, uh, yeah, the presets really help a lot, honestly. Um, you could get stuck in the cycle of, like, just doing the same little tiny changes, and, and as soon as, you know, you hit another kind of a preset, you're in a, in a totally different world. Um, so I saw this one that's, that was called, I, th I believe, the Drum Rubberizer, and I was like, all right, great. That's all, that goes for drums, so let's try it out. Here we go. Um, <laughs> a lot less special or something, you know, a lot less dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can do a bunch of it, you can sort of noise, use the noise generator on it. Or just the oscillator. I'm a big fan, man, I like this, I like this autoplay feature too, um, so essentially Autoplay allows you to to just sing or apply the vocoder directly on uh, an audio signal without having to actually play any chords. You can just limit the the notes that it'll respond to to a specific um, scale you uh, you input right here. And so that's what I did with the um, with the drums. You know, I I auto played and I just put these two notes that are I know for sure in the key of the of what I'm playing, um, and uh, and I let it rip. And so this is the, the final sort of, you know, the final sound. Um, I also have these little, uh, these little tiny rock samples that I, I have floating around this little, this arrangement. Um, and we'll play those for a bit. I mean, it doesn't make much sense by itself, but you'll see. So without the plug-in again... And then I'm going to turn this on. So that's got a bunch of stuff. It's, you know, it's being affected by the synth. It's giving like that hiss, that sort of hissy sound to it. Um, it's giving, uh, it's, it's not like it's, it has this chorus on it as well, as well as the, uh, the reverb. It sounds really nice and lush. So right now we're having a mix of the uh, original sound with the vocal sound. Go with the vocoded sound, sound like that. Still pretty cool. 
Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So let's um, check out. I think you should show them the uh, the arrangement. And oh yeah, totally. So let yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> last part we wanted to add the chorus of the original song um and i think we just decided to kind of like affect it like differently than and with the vocoder still but let's just like a different effect and and i was really happy with like what luis chose for it was really cool yeah um this is just one thing i i wanted to to go over just to get different sort of colors on the um you know of the vocoders presets just so you guys could listen um so here's the the signal without vocoding right, right? sounds really good <laughs> all right uh, so here we're gonna go ahead and play the uh, the same thing with the uh, the big choir preset on the BVX. Let's check it out. Yeah, so there it is. Uh, that's some of the stuff you can do with this thing. It's obviously uh, a world in and of itself. You can uh, you can delve into it. Um, hardcore. Uh, there's so much to go through, but that's just me sort of skimming the surface. Um, yeah, we, we hope you enjoy, uh, your time with the BVX and, uh, and, uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Yeah. You should play the whole thing. Yeah, let's do one it. One final time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Peace. Thank Bye. you. Hope you're well. Bye. Bye.